We live in a world where forests cover about 30% of the Earth's surface. These forests are home to more than a thousand species of animals and are of great importance in combating climate change. So why do we keep killing them? Forests play a fundamental role in the well-being of ecosystems. They help regulate humidity, oxygen production, help reduce greenhouse gases, and filter the air, leaving it purer and cleaner. But with the increase in economic activities due to the globalization process and the development of new technologies every day, the forestation has been increasing in an uncontrollable manner. The lack of public policies that guarantee the preservation of these forests also strongly influences the deforestation process. It is estimated that more than 200 species of animals that live in South America's rainforests are threatened by deforestation. Why does deforestation happen? The reasons for deforestation are diverse, but generally include the need to exploit forests for economic gain, such as obtaining wood, fruits, and the search for precious metals. Another reason is the creation of new spaces and plots for agriculture and urban expansion, which is also responsible for deforestation, especially in the more populated areas. With the increase in the world population, the demand for these spaces and these natural resources increases, thus increasing also the tragic consequences of deforestation on our planet. What are the consequences of this deforestation for animals? Deforestation has a very negative impact on animals, as in addition to destroying their habitats, it also affects the soils that are rich in organic matter and contain several microorganisms essential for life in forests. This deforestation also makes the soil much more exposed to the action of the sun, wind and rain which alters the climatic conditions of that place and triggers the process of degradation of these habitats, putting the different species of animals that live there at risk, which can lead to extinction. One of these species was portrayed in the animated film Rio in 2011, which tells the story of a sphinx macaw in captivity that mated with a less known wild specimen. A study was carried out with this species and it was concluded that the film was produced a decade too late, as it is estimated that the last wild specimen of this species died in 2000 and there are currently only around 70 specimens in captivity. Another species heavily affected by deforestation and fires is the koala, which in just three years lost a third of its population. It is estimated that the population in 2018 was around 80,000 individuals and now in 2021 is less than 58,000. If this massive deforestation has so many bad consequences for us, why don't we just stop? And is there still time to save species threatened by deforestation? Only time will tell. This massive deforestation together with the fires that have occurred in the recent decades are the main causes for around 85% of the threatened species to have lost part of the natural habitats. The damage caused is irreversible and incalculable. It will only be with the passage of time that we will know the seriousness of the situation for some of these species. Comment down below what you think would be the solution to combat this problem and tell us what you think of this video. That's it for us today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, see you next time.